Hello guys, today I have a quick tip for you how to create your own string functions in Laravel. String functions or collection functions or other functions called macros. And this is based on a tweet by Aaron Francis. Follow Aaron for another set of tips about Laravel and SQL and about building products and he has a few products of his own. So based on his tweet in this example, he created a macro for swapping a few values in the string with other values. And recently I like to take the tweets by someone and explain them in this YouTube channel. Not only explain, but also experiment some more, maybe add something that the author missed and stuff like that. So I will continue doing that on this channel, kind of like mini reviews, or sometimes it's longer reviews. In this case, it will be quick. So you define the macro and I will show you where, and this is exactly what Aaron missed here. And then you can use it with str something. It's kind of like a global helper, but instead of being global, instead of doing that like WordPress where you have functions PHP and everything is in one file without any structure. So if that is a string function, you can do something like this. And where do you define those macros? You do that in app service provider. Actually, you can do that in any service provider, to be honest, but I've seen people mostly doing it in app service provider. So you just define str here. str, of course, should be on the top here in the use section, and then you can use it in all your project wherever. Like, for example, I just launched Artisan Tinker. So Artisan Tinker, and from my history, we have a subject variable string, and then I call str swap, replacing Rails with Livewire and DHH author with Caleb Orzio. And the result is Livewire was created by Caleb. So this is just a short example based on Aaron's tweet for string, but I have a few more videos on this channel. So if you search for macro and I will link those in the description below, how you can create such helpers for collections or for carbon, for example, or you can define the macros for Laravel responses for shorter API response if it has repeating stuff, which it does quite often. So macros are kind of a global concept in Laravel, classes that are macroable, so to speak. And funny thing I want to mention at the end of this video, so based on Aaron's tweet, a few more people contributed that as a pull request to the framework itself, to Laravel. So here are the pull requests that are actually closed and as you can see, this tweet by Aaron inspired me to open this pull request. A few people downvoted it for some reason, partly because it's duplication of PHP helper, PHP function. And there's a debate after that, but actually it was accepted and merged. So now you have that function inside of the framework. I think it's available in the latest Laravel 8.x and probably in Laravel 9, I haven't checked myself. But I just wanted to show you the example how the community, someone tweeted, someone submitted a pull request, and then combined together, we have a new feature in Laravel framework. So this is how new small features appear in the framework. Anyone can do that, you can do that too. And I have a separate video on how to contribute to open source project. In that example, it's the project of documentation of Laravel, but the same things apply if you want to contribute to Laravel itself. So you can try it out yourself if you want to contribute something to the framework. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.